What is up, guys? Chris Jardine here, community and content developer with Out of the Park Baseball, back with another episode of our Perfect Team 21 tutorial series. In the first couple of tutorials, I showed you guys how to set up your team, how to play in the entry pool, how the regular league structure works. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make perfect points for your team. Perfect points is the currency that we use inside of Perfect Team for buying packs, for buying cards from the auction house. How do you get it? How can you make more of it? That's what everybody wants. It's what we all want in life is more money. I'm going to show you guys how to make more money in the perfect team realm. So basically, there are a few ways that you can make perfect points, uh, but they are all tied to one particular thing, and that is achievements. You can see in the bottom left-hand corner here, uh, we're only a couple games into the season. As you can see, we're 2-2. Two and two. I've gotten a couple of achievements down here. So achievements are... Um, Things player related, team related, streak related, uh, result related that you can have happen to your team that will help you get perfect points. So, one thing you can do is if you go to the main screen and you go to the achievements and trophies, this will show you all of your achievements from this season. So, you can see I've hit two bronze achievements, I've gotten 100 perfect points total. We had a shared shutout, which was achieved once. It shows you the most recent, it shows you how many you got for it. We got Corner Painter, Bill Hallahan. Uh, corner Painter is 10 plus strikeouts in a game. We got 80 perfect points for that. Anytime you hit an achievement, the achievements are going to show up on this panel and they'll show up the last few you got on the main screen that I showed you as well. While we do not have a full list of the perfect team achievements available right now, if you go to our Steam page in the description down below this video, you can actually go look at the Steam achievements. A lot of the achievements from the core game which are available on Steam, are copied over into Perfect Team. So you have individual game ones. You have things like strikeouts, uh, hitting doubles. I think four or five doubles in a game is a pretty big achievement. Home runs, individual player performance is an achievement. Team performance, also an achievement. Win streaks, uh, snapping a losing streak, um, You know, uh, making the playoffs. Making the playoffs is a 1,000 perfect points winning a playoff series also a thousand perfect points sweeping a team in the playoffs will also get you some bonus points um there are three different levels of achievement as well there are bronze which they're the two that i have there's also silver and gold obviously the silver and gold ones are going to pay out more perfect points than the bronze ones so keep an eye out for the achievements that's one way you're really going to help um you're really going to help bolster the bankroll for your squad, which you then can turn around and buy packs or buy cards from the auction house to improve um, your team. There is another way to earn perfect points as well, and that is by auctioning cards. And that's going to be in our next tutorial video, which is going to be all about the auction house. Um, guys, what did you think of this tutorial video? If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and we will answer your question to the best of our ability. Also, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to get your notifications. I have been Chris Jardine, a.k.a. Snaggle J, community and content developer for Out of the Park Baseball. And until next time, keep swinging for the fences.